friends my name is Srikant and I will be solving this problem Manasa and stones of this hacker line so uh, Manasa is out on a hike with friends she finds a trail of stones with numbers on them she starts following the trail and notices that two consecutive stones have a difference of either A or B okay so in this example so these are the total number of stones N and each between each stone there is a difference of either A or B and um, the stones are limited to N items so uh, uh, the legend has it that there is a treasure trove at the end of the trail and if Manasa can guess the values of the last stone the treasure would be hers so we basically have to find the last item for each trail okay so we notice that for n minus n stones we have to use n minus 1 combinations of a's or b's to uh, arrive at the last one so so the first stone is always zero find all the possible values on the for the number on the last stone this is the problem so it can be uh, seen in this example that here we add two a's to get to two here one a and one b here one b and one a and here two b's so we get two three three four as the uh, final uh, outs so uh, the here the question asks you to print the the first line of uh, space separated list of numbers which are the possible values of last stone in increasing order this has to be taken care of, increasing order and the numbers should not be repeated ok so the best data structure to use uh, to remove the duplicates and print in uh, incre uh, increasing order is the set abstraction so what we do is we create a set of answers that is the final set of items ok and then uh, we declare three variables long long of n a, a and b c uh, so n and a and b are in the range of 10 to the power 3 so it can go up to 10 to the power 3 so add, adding these numbers may cross the ranges of uh, integers so to be on the safe side we choose long long ok so the number of test cases are 10 so we input take the test cases as input and while there are test cases remaining we scan each uh, each time the n and a and b so these are the different test cases so before that every time we clear before inserting in the set we clear the set so that it does not contain values of the previous iteration ok now after that uh, we uh, choose two variables i and j which are like how many a's we choose and how many b's we choose so in the starting we start from a a's as n minus 1 and b's as 0 and we will go to uh, a's as uh, 0 and b's as n minus 1 ok this is j is less than n ok we will keep on incrementing i and decrementing uh, sorry decrementing i and incrementing j ok and we will keep on uh, inserting these items in the set so that it automatically removes the duplicates and uh, gives you the final set of uh, numbers in the last column ok now to print these uh, elements we use this uh, uh, iterator to print the uh, uh, all the elements in the set ok simple enough and then this end line is like for the next uh, next one so for the next test case so this one was the first test case and this is the second test case ok so we run this code uh, we see that uh, there is no compilation error as such and the test case has passed now we will submit the code and see that all the test cases have passed or not ok uh, so the test cases are running so we have finished 
everything this, uh, it shows as accepted okay have a great day